and commenting on some of the details of this Payabrat. This is a text 60. Ayam vai sarva yagyakya yagyakya sarva vrata miti smritam tapasaram idam badre dhanam keshava keshwara tarpanam Kashyap Muni is telling his good wife, Mahabhagi, his greatly fortunate wife, Aditi, about the worship of the Supreme Personality of God at Keshav. And he said that this Payabrat that you're performing is Sarva Yagya. It is equal to all kinds of religious rituals and sacrifices, all Yagyas. In other words, it's the whole in one. This one brat or yagya or sacrifice or puja or worship, 12 days, austerities, this one sacrifice, by doing this one can perform all other sacrifices automatically. He went on to say that his tapasaram is the essence of all austerities. calls his wife previous verse he calls his wife Mahabhagi greatly fortunate here he calls her Badri oh good lady and by this doing this breath one will please the supreme personality of God it says here Dhanam Keshwara Tarpanam this is the best act of charity to please the Supreme, the Ishvara, the Supreme Personality of God. Very interesting purport in this chapter 16, verse 60, in relation to, to this Payabrata. Prabhupada compares the Payabrata to Iskan, this ancient worship that Aditi was doing, the Lord Vishnu. He compares this Payabrata performance of Aditi in the Sati Yuga millions of years ago to the deity worship that is performed, the Vishnu Radhanam or Puja or deity worship that is performed in Iskan temples today in Kali Yuga four million years later. The ultimate goal of life, of course, is to please Vishnu. Haritoshanam. The worship of Vishnu. Vishnu Aradhyate. Prabhupada says uh, the Krishna consciousness movement is also performing Vishnu Aradhanam, worship of Krishna, according to the age. Payabrata was done in Satyuga. And we are, and that was the worship of Vishnu. And now we're worshiping Vishnu in this age. So the Payavrat was enunciated long, long ago in Satyuga. Yuga, but in Kali Yuga now, and that was the past. But now in the present, in Kali Yuga, the process accepted by Iskan to open hundreds. And, and what is our process? The process of Iskan is not to engage everybody in Payavrat fasting from milk or drinking milk all day. But our process is to open hundreds. Prabhupada says that the process accepted by the Krishna consciousness movement, ISKCON, is to open hundreds and thousands of Vishnu temples to Radhan Krishna, Jagannath Balaram, Sita Ram, Kornitai, and so on. Performing deity worship in these temples is the same as is as good as the Pyal Brata recommended here. But in our Iskan, Lord Vishnu is worshipped in every temple, not just for twelve days. Prabhupada makes this distinction. There's something similar and something different. There's some similarities between our Iskan deity worship and Aditi's performance of the Pyal Brata. The difference is she only did 12 days 
Vishnu Radhanam during our Payabrat, but Iskan in all our temples around the world, our Vishnu Radhanam is Chobis Ganta Radhanam. Chobis Ganta Vishnu Radhanam. 24 hours a day, the Prophet says, but he says, okay, Aditi performed her Payabrata for 12 days and did Vishnu Radhanam. But in our Krishna conscious movement, Iskan, Lord Vishnu is worshipped in every temple according to a 24 hours, according to a schedule of 24 hours of engagement in performing kirtan, the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, offering palatable food and distributing this food to Vaishnavas and others. If members of the Krishna conscious movement, which means members of ISKCON, if they stick to these principles, these three principles of Vishnu Radhanam, 24-hour kirtan, it's very interesting. In this purport, 8th Kanto, chapter 16, verse 60, Prabhupada is saying, ISKCON means Akanda kirtan. ISKCON means the Krishna conscious movement, there's three principles that that are that should be or that are or should be followed in all ISKCON temples. He's saying here to repeat, in our Krishna consciousness movement, which is ISKCON, Lord Vishnu is worshipped in every temple according to a schedule of twenty four hours of gate according to a schedule of twenty four hours engagement in performing Kirtan. That means a Chobis, a Chobis Ganta Akanda Kirtan, Akanda Harinam Kirtan. So he said, he's, if we carry out these three principles, if we stick to these, we will get the result one gains by observing the Pal Prata ceremony. And that result is the pleasure of the Lord, the happiness of God, Krishna. So one principle Prabhupada is saying that we should all stick to, that we, all the members of ISKCON, in all the temples of ISKCON, we should stick to these three principles. And it seems, one can say or draw the conclusion from this verse, that these, if we, the Prabhupada w- would like us to stick to these three principles. One, every temple should have Akanda Kirtan, 24, hour, 24 hours chanting of the Hare Krishna Mantra. Two, we should be offering palatable foodstuffs to Lord Vishnu. And then we should be distributing this Mahaprasadam to the Vaishnavas and to the public, to others. Akanda Kirtan, 24 hours. You could also say that we should have 24 hours Hare Krishna Mahamatra Kirtan in every temple and 24 hours offering food to the Lord and 24 hours distributing Mahaprasadam to the Vaishnavas and the public. Mahaprasadam ki jai. Prabhupada goes on. Thus the essence of all auspicious activities, such as performing yagya, giving in charity, observing brat, and undergoing austerities, is actually included in the Krishna consciousness movement. Now this is Prabhupada's tika, or very much contemporary and enlightened commentary on the individual words of this verse which says sarva yagya sarva vratam tapasaram danam cheshvara tarpanam Kashyabuni is telling to his wife his badre his auspicious wife Aditi that this these acts of charity are pleasing to the Lord the acts of performing sarva yagya this pile brata is a yagya it's the essence of all yagyas it's a brata it's the essence of all bratas and it's an austerity it's the essence tapasaram it's the essence of austerities so Prabhupada is saying that in our temples we are doing all of our iskan temples the members are conducting simultaneously all three of these activities which Aditi performed millions of years ago. And by performing all three of these activities, we are pleasing the Lord, Sri Krishna and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sarva Yagya, Sarva Vrata Tapasaram. Because we're doing the sacrifice of Nam Yagya, 
Yagya Sankirtana prayer because in Kali Yuga we should perform the Sankirtan Yagya one should follow this process continuously and we're performing the Supreme Tapasya very wonderful verse 8 eight Canto chapter 16 verse 60 Prabhupada compares the Pile Brata to Iskan non-sacratan puja and prasad distribution. <laughs> <laughs>